Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to make Genji's deflectability. So first of all we are going to make a projectile that we are going to deflect. So click on your content browser, then click on blueprint class, click on actor, now name this to bullet. Now open it up, now we are going to add a sphere, collusion and drag and drop this into the default scene root. Now this sphere is the scene root. Now we are going to add a sphere mesh. So for that type in sphere and get this sphere, not this. Now we are going to add a projectile movement component. So add component, projectile movement component. Now change the velocity to x velocity to 3000 change the initial speed to 3000 and the maximum speed also should be 3000 now we are going to change the projectile gravity scale to 0 so that our projectile doesn't fall down now we are going to make a ma material for this uh, sphere before that I am just going to resize this sphere a bit like this and compile and save now go to your content browser right click then click on material name this bullet mat now open it up now change the shading model to unlit now press 3 and click on the graph so we get this constant 3 vector connect this to emissive color and change the value to red now right click on this vector and convert to parameter change the parameter name to color so we can change this later using blueprint now apply and save and go into your bullet and drop this into the material and we are going to make a gun that will fire the projectile so for that right click on a content browser click on blueprint class actor type in gun open it up add a cube now we are just going to add an arrow position the arrow like this and uncheck hidden in game so we can see the arrow in game compile and save now go to the event graph and delete both of this now we are going to add a timeline to fire the projectile every three seconds to right so right click on the graph and type in timeline rename this to fire and double click to open this up now check auto play and loop and change the length to 3 now add an event track press shift and click anywhere in the graph so that we get this point now change the time value to 3 this value shouldn't matter because this is an event track even though we have auto play on we have to connect event begin play to play or this won't start since this is an event track it will work with float track and all but it won't work with event track we have to connect this to play now from the new track drag and type in spawn actor from class now change the class to bullet drag and drop the arrow into the graph from this type in get world transform and connect this to here so this will fire the bullet every five i mean every three seconds so compile and save now let's test this
so as you can see it is firing every three seconds and uh, it killed me so yeah now we are going to create a deflection path for that go into the first person character blueprint and go to viewport and add box collision now position this like this and scale it like this so basically anything that hits this box collision will get deflected now go to the collision preset and change to block called dynamic compile now go to the event graph and um, click on box and go here and on component begin overlap press this plus icon now from this cast to bullet and connect other actor to object now from mass bullet we are going to get the projectile movement component of the bullet so get projectile movement now we are going to get the velocity from the projectile movement component so type in get velocity so basically how this will work is that we are going to uh, multiply the velocity with a negative number so the direction of the bullet will change but the speed won't change so we are going to drag off from here and type in set velocity and connect this to here and we are going to multiply this with a negative number I mean negative 1 so this number should be negative 1 and connect this to here now you can see that it is getting deflected back now we will change the color of the bullet when it gets deflected back so go to the bullet event graph and we are going to create a new event so right click and type in custom event name this change team now drag and drop the sphere in and from this type in create dynamic material instance so with this we can change the color of the material that we applied to the sphere so index 1 means that it is the I mean index 0 means that it is the it is the element 0 so the source material is this material now drag off from here and set vector pa parameter value the parameter name is this name color the value is going to be green so come back and save now play oh, we have to call this uh, event from the uh, first person character so when it gets deflected we are going to call the chain team event now connect this to here compile and save now go to play now as you can see it is getting deflected and the color is getting changed now we are going to make the bullet explode when it hits the gun so for that go into the bullet create a new variable name it damage parent and press alt and drag and drop this here so we can set the value connect this here and 
check this now click on the sphere and go to on component begin overlap and from other actor cast to gun so this basically tells the bullet whether it hit the gun or not so from here uh, before that we have to uh, add a branch so type in branch and connect this to here and the true is connected to here now drag and drop this into the condition so whenever this is set this part of the um, code will execute so from here we are going to spawn an emitter spawn emitter at location and the emitter is explosion this is from the starter content and drag and drop in the sphere so we can get a location for the emitter and drag from here and type in get location get world location now connect this to here and after that we are going to destroy the bullet so type, type in destroy actor the target should be self so now you can see that it is getting deflected and when it hits the gun it will explode now we will make the deflect activate and deactivate using the right mouse button so go into your first person character now add a new variable bool variable call this deflect now press B and click on the graph so get, we get this branch and connect this to here connect this to here and drag and drop this in here now right click on your graph and type in right mouse button now press alt and drag and drop this in here and connect this here and take this again drag and drop this here and this should not be ticked so now if we don't press the right mouse button it won't get deflected back and if we press the right mouse button it will get deflected back now we are going to make the bullet explode when it hits our first person character but the deflection is not activated or if the deflection is not active so go into your uh, bullet now from this drag and cast to first person character now from other actor connect this to object now press B and click on the graph connect this to here and from this we will get the deflection I mean the deflect get deflect so if the deflect is not active the bullet will explode on the first person character so we are just going to copy all this select all this and press ctrl and w so we can duplicate duplicate this and connect this to false now if we don't press the right mouse button the bullet will come and 
hit us and explode and if you press the right mouse button it will get deflected back so that's how you do the genji's deflection ability thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more tutorials like this thanks